We have a nice salad from the garden with some arugula. Then we got a pork shoulder from the hog me and Judah got yesterday. So we're gonna make some pulled pork and see how the kids like it. Well, first we went out in the woods. And then we saw a bunch of piggy signs. So we went over there and then a bunch of piggies came. And we got ready with the gun and we said, we want to see shoot and we, and we got it. Today, Jude and I are at a Florida Wildlife Management Area. We're going to be doing a little hog hunting. Um, today is the first day of this unit's small game season, so it's um, shotgun and rimfire only. And so we got some 12 gauge shotguns with buckshot. And um, what I like doing in this unit is um, I know some of the bedding areas the hogs like to lay down during the day. So we just kind of um, sneak up on those bedding areas with the wind in our face and try to get close to them and get them to stand up. And we've done really well over the years. And um, this unit has some really good taste in hogs compared to a lot of the other wild hogs I've had from wildlife management areas. So we're gonna get at it and see if we can get one down today. So we're hunting today in nice hard bottoms, just mostly oak trees. There's a ton of acorns on the ground. These hogs, they like to find the real thick areas in these woods. So um, it's not as thick as a lot of Florida woods. So they'll, they'll um, bed up in those thickets and um, brush piles. And so there's a few that I've shot a lot of hog out over the years. So I just kind of go to those few spots and push through them and see if there's anything laying down there. You can tell we're getting in the hoggy area. Hog right in here. This is a little bit old. At least we know they've been around here. Alright, so now we're finding some fresher sign. There's a freshly used hog wallow right here in the middle of this trail. A lot of really fresh rooting right around it just from the last night. Fresh hog tracks. Last time I was hunting, I jumped up a big sow from this palmetto thicket in front of me. So I'm guessing they're probably bedded back up in here. And there's a lot of fresh root in here in the pine trees here. So we're going to try to pinpoint where these hogs are bedded and see if we can find one. One of the things I'm looking for when I'm trying to find hog beds is fresh hog poop. That's about as fresh as it gets. Hogs will pick a bathroom area right outside their bedding. Well, I did jump up one hog um, in the palmettos but didn't get a view of it, just heard it crashing off. So it's um, getting a little later, that sun's getting low. And so we're gonna set up, we're next to a big old wallow and the hogs use all these trees here to rub on, get the ticks off them. So I think we're gonna set up in this area for the evening. Definitely, this is a place where hogs come to a lot. There's some main trails coming through here, so we're going to set up with the wind in our face. Hopefully, we'll get something coming in before it gets dark. So, it's just a little over an hour until sunset, and we have set up, made a little ground line overlooking this big hog wallow. And there's a lot of major hog trails with a lot of fresh tracks leading in and out of this wallow so we're gonna sit here for the evening hopefully these hogs will get up on their feet before it gets dark and catch one slipping through here we weren't feeling real good about that last spot um, i've had a camera there before and it seems like mostly nighttime activity so we're closer to the bedding area on a different little wallow so hopefully we'll see something Public land success. We got a nice little sow. So we're gonna get it gutted and hear lungs like Yeah, we got her good. We hit her. Got her through the lungs and in the head. She dropped right there. Didn't 
didn't suffer much. There's another big black one we're running off with there. But man, that was exciting. Hopefully we got it on film. It was a little crazy there. We had to get turned around in our little makeshift ground blind and try to turn the camera and stuff. But that was awesome. Judah got your first pig. Can you count on that, buddy? Well, we're gonna gut this hog, get it field dressed, and drag it out to the truck. And we'll get it back home and get it on ice. And it's a nice cool evening tonight, so it'll be fine driving home. We got it gutted. We have the body in this big contractor garbage bag, and the heads in the backpack in a garbage bag. Judah's gonna pack the head out. And I'm just gonna throw this body over my shoulders. The reason I have it in the bag is so I don't get blood all over me. And we're gonna pack this out to the truck. We got our hands and shoulders full, but we're heading out of the woods with some nice fresh pork. All organic, acorn fed. I got this hog back home and got everything quartered up and cleaned up. Not really wasting anything. Even the hide and the feet and the head we're saving for stone crab bait. So it's all gonna be put back into food. Wanted to give a quick recap on yesterday's hog hunt and talk about some of our strategies when hunting hogs on Florida public land. And really what we're looking for is finding those bedding areas. Hogs will travel a long distance at night, so if you're just looking for hog rooting or hog trails, there's probably a good chance those hogs are only visiting that area at night. But if you can find where they're bedding and set up right outside of that bedding area, if you're hunting um, from a blind or from a stand or if you're still hunting slowly pushing through that bedding area with the wind in your face you're gonna have a much better chance of finding a hog during daylight hours that you can legally shoot on public land and so what i'm looking for to find those bedding areas is following those hog trails to where it's very thick hogs like to bed in those very thick areas where they feel protected and then also i'm looking for hog droppings Hogs will use the bathroom right outside of their bedding area and so if you find a spot with a lot of hog droppings and they're fresh you know there's hogs bedded very close by probably within 50 yards and then also I'm looking for um, rubs on trees. Hogs will get in their wallows and then they'll rub on trees around their bedding areas. So if you can find that sign you can um, determine where the hogs are bedded and then set up close by and you're going to have a much better chance of seeing hogs during daylight hours. We're going to be making a lot more videos about everything Florida outdoors, growing food, hunting food, foraging, fishing. And so I hope you subscribe and um, we're going to try to put out a lot of educational content so that you can learn how to utilize the resources we have right here in our backyard.